you know, when you're here training, the weights always shoot you straight, man. 100 pounds, it's always 100 pounds. And uh, no matter what kind of day I'm having, if I'm in a good mood, in a bad mood, have a terrible day, I come in here, give it 100%. When I leave the gym, it's better. Always, no matter what happens. You know, what's going on in my life, personal life, business life, whatever. When I walk out of this place, I always feel better. And uh, that's why I train. I love training. I've been training since I was 14 years old. And God willing, I'm gonna train until I take my last breath on this planet. So uh, that's why I do what I do, because I love it. find something in you to motivate you. If you want something more than you want anything else in life, there's your motivation right there. You know, for me, I had to succeed. Failure was an option. It was sink or swim. I wanted to be the best. So to be the best, I mean, you gotta work hard. And to be the best in the world, it means you gotta outwork everybody else around you. I didn't wanna let anybody beat me because they outworked me. So I gave it every single thing I had every fucking time I came to the gym because I did not wanna get beaten because somebody wanted it more than I wanted it. came up is why our shit always hit hard you know why everybody accepted you know so well and have so many views and all that good stuff you know nowadays everybody's worried about everybody else and it's one time you got to internalize everything your training your eating your cardio your mental capacity got to be 100% focused on what your your task what you're trying to accomplish let's go Man, I think it comes down to just how bad you want it, right? I just had a talk with somebody yesterday, a young kid, man, and um, you know, he, uh, he's pursuing his dream, and um, you know, a lot of people give him a hard time about it because you know, he set the bar impossibly high. You know, he's a young man, but he has a dream. And uh, everybody has dreams, right? How many people actually go out and chase their dreams and try to make a reality? You know, those people, how many actually get to live the dream? Very few. But if you don't have a dream and don't, don't chase it, you'll never make it a reality. You know, you gotta think within, not look outward to getting help, not look outward, you know, to get motivation, but actually inward or inside that box you created is where you create your motivation, where you create your focus, and you ride that, you ride that damn lightning bolt all the way to the stage until you get, become the last man standing in the winner box. And that's when you know what you did is what you're supposed to do, and what you did is what myself, Branch Warren, has done all these damn years continue to do when it comes to accomplishing goals and you know what we do we win that leave a mark and there's gonna be all kinds of naysayers man when i started this journey way back when i had all kinds of naysayers man told me i couldn't do it for whatever reason and uh, i didn't listen to them and i internalized all of it and uh when somebody told me i couldn't do it, it is, i took that I made it, I used it to fuel me to be better, push harder in the gym, you know, to be stricter, you know, do cardio, be more disciplined and consistent with everything across the board. You know, make me a better bodybuilder, make me a champion, that's going to get me to reach my goals. So, uh, you know, uh, I used to get ready for contests. People say, you know, I do interviews, and they say, well, man, who's your biggest, you know, threat, or who, who you know, blah, blah, blah about the contest. I'm like, I had no idea to do the contest. At that time, I'm like, the only person I knew doing it was Johnny, because we were our partners, you know, I didn't, I didn't look, man, I didn't care. I usually didn't know who's doing the show until I got to the competitive meeting, and um, I didn't care. 
because I focus on the things I can control, my drive, my training, my nutrition, my cardio, my posing, you know, my prep. I focus 100% on that, and I didn't give a damn what was going on else in the world. Who else was going, I had no control over them, what they looked like, who showed up, any of that, so I didn't focus on it. I didn't, didn't waste my thoughts on it. Um, you know, I stayed off social media, uh, because you know, somebody could post 100 good things about you, two people could post something negative, you remember the negative things. That's just how we're wired as people. So I, I totally isolated myself from all that kind of crap, and I focus on myself. And uh, you know, go back to Johnny when he said, you know, why do our things hit so hard? I don't know. I think because it's real. I think when you believe in something, you really believe in it, and you have a strong passion for it. I think people feel that and see that. And uh, everybody appreciates hard work, you know. And uh, the good thing about bodybuilding and sports is, no matter who you are, where you're from, if you're the best, you're right to the top.